The first item on this list is the X5P1. And this tiny little box packs a lot of power. Phantom power, that is. It's portable, rechargeable phantom power in a solidly built little box. And why this is so awesome is because you can take any condenser microphone like this, plug it into the P1, and then take an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cord and plug it straight into your camera. And if you have an XLR shotgun microphone like a Rode NTG, you can do the same. In a separate video, I've even used the P1 to power a cloud lifter so that I can get great sound with a dynamic microphone like the Shure SM48 when plugging it straight into my Sony a7S III. This essentially could eliminate the need for audio interfaces or sound mixers to provide phantom power to your sound devices if the goal was to get audio straight into your camera. And you can even go wireless by taking an XLR to 3.5 millimeter adapter and plugging in a wireless transmitter like the Rode Wireless Go. And if you want to get really ridiculous, you can make your dynamic microphone wireless for on the go video interviews. This is so ridiculous that I have to be the first person to have this set up. So if you want me to actually use this in the video and uh, test it out, let me know in the comments below. Number two on the list is a boom extension arm. Extension arms are gonna make your light stands much more versatile, even with cheaper lightweight ones like this impact boom arm. You can use it to boom your microphone over you or your talent. You can attach a small light and use it as an accent light or a hair light. I've been using it for my own overhead rig. I have an impact super clamp attached to this kitchen cart and this boom arm threaded to it with a spigot. I'm able to easily attach my ball head to it because it has a quarter inch thread and it's strong enough to hold an A7S III with a Tamron 28 to 75 lens. These are really versatile tools that can come in handy in a lot of situations. Number three on this list is an impact super clamp which we actually just mentioned when we talked about our overhead rig. You saw how this could be used to clamp straight to a desk or other surfaces, but it's also very useful if you wanna attach it to a light stand or another pole. It's actually very integral to how I get this main YouTube angle. I have another impact super clamp that's attached to this Ulanzi desk mount pole. Then from the super clamp, I have this six inch extension arm with a ball head attached to that and I'm shooting with a Sony a7S III and a Viltrox 24 millimeter. What's great about this contraption is that I have a lot of flexibility to get the perfect angle. You can also take this exact setup with a super clamp and attach it to your light pole. And now you have an entire YouTube setup on one stand. These clamps are also very useful for holding lighting gear like flags and bounces, or even heavier items like V-mount plates and batteries. Number four on the list is the Ambifull A2. The A2 is a one foot full RGB tube light like the ones you can get from Nanlite, Aperture, or Godox, except it's half the price at $50. This is great as a hair light when you boom it above you with the extension arm we mentioned earlier. You can use it as a practical light in the background to add some interest and dimension to your shot. And it can even be hidden and become an accent light for a pop of color in the background. And it's the same for products. You can use it as an accent light behind it, you can use it as a rim light, and you can also use it as a key light. The downside to the A2 is that it doesn't have the best controls and you have to cycle through to get the right color and intensity that you want. It also cannot be controlled through an app like the more expensive ones can, but for $50, this is a really great value. Number five is the Deity D4 Mini. And this is probably the best shotgun microphone that you could buy right now for under $50. It not only sounds great, but it has some great features that other mics at $50 just don't have. It has an input jack that allows you to attach another microphone. And when you do this, your camera is gonna record those two audio sources separately. This is useful for having a backup audio track in case one of the microphones fails. And it's also useful for attaching a lav or a Rode Wireless Go to yourself. This is great for vlogging because you can get audio of whatever or whomever you point your camera at while still getting your own voiceover as audio. The D4 Mini also has RF shielding which allows you to attach a Rode Wireless Go transmitter and not worry about a bunch of interference and static. Next up on the list is the newer heavy duty light stand. And I know that light stands aren't the most exciting thing to buy, but they're definitely essential. And if you can find reliable ones at an affordable price, it makes it a lot easier to buy. I have three of these stands and I've used them for over three years on hundreds of shoots. They've been battle tested and they've held up with no sign of breaking down. The heaviest thing these stands have held is a Godox VL300 with a 48 inch softbox, which is pretty heavy. I can't recommend these stands more. Next up on the list is the Shure SM48. This is the little brother to the Shure SM58 
and the little little brother to the also popular Shure SM7B. Having your cool podcast microphone in your videos is the cool thing to do nowadays and the SM48 provides a good sounding budget friendly option. Since this is a dynamic mic, it's gonna reject ambient noise really nicely and give you that natural radio or podcast type of sound. But if you aren't plugging into a device with good preamps, you're not gonna get good sound because dynamic mics need a lot of gain to get a good audio level. We made a video where we showed how you can plug this microphone straight into your camera, but since mirrorless cameras don't have good preamps, we had to use a cloud lifter to get more clean audio gain and the cloud lifter had to be powered by the P1, which is the first item we mentioned on the list. If you're using this microphone with a good audio interface like a Rodecaster Pro or a Scarlett, you're not gonna need the cloud lifter to get good audio. And if you need multiple mics for your podcast, you're gonna save a lot of money by buying a few of these. To finish off this list, we have the Rode Wireless Go Mag Clips. If you have a pair of Rode Wireless Go's, this is gonna make an already versatile tool more versatile. These make it much easier to attach a transmitter to clothing and it also makes it much easier to conceal. It's only $18 so you can buy a pair of them for $36 if you have the Rode Wireless Go 2's. It's always fun to watch videos on affordable camera gear but at some point for some of you you're gonna have to make those big boy purchases if you really want to progress in your career as a content creator. If you're interested in expensive camera gear that's actually worth it, watch this video right here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.